Okay, now we're going to go into some offense from a front headlock from your knees, from the knees, okay? And uh, I'm just going to kind of go over the techniques, and there's a lot of different ways you can have you guys drill this. You know, once you got the techniques down, you can have, uh, do, have him doing the down block drill where he shoots, he down blocks, and he goes to these techniques. Um, you can have forced front headlocks where he's coming to hold the guy and snapping, pulling him down to the mat, and then going to your techniques from the knees. But uh, right now we're just going to focus on how to score when we get a front headlock. And we're both on our knees. Um, and like I said, you got to really drill this stuff in your guy's head because I see too many people get a front headlock down here and they just let guys go. You're letting them off the hook here. you, you got to have the mentality where you're scoring every time you get a front headlock. So first thing we're going to do is just kind of quick score. we got a chin and pit. Guy just starts down here. Got the chin. I got the pit. Shoulder position right in the middle between his shoulder blades. Elbows high. And you know, a good drill is try to have him reel this elbow in. Right here, you got to be able to keep it clear. All right, what we're going to do right away, this can be right off a shot, right after I bounce him down to the mat from a snap. Uh, we're just looking to go real quick. Before he can reel an arm in, uh, before he can start to tie us up or start to counter this front headlock, we're just going to real quick circle left. As we circle left, we're going to bounce and backhand. Okay? So, and I see a lot of guys, they try to do this backhand, they try to pull straight like this. I like to circle left. Because when I do bounce him, I'm going to have an angle right here already. Okay? I want my chest up on, his, up on this part of the shoulder and the shoulder blade. You don't want to be hanging too far off of him. You don't want to be off of him. You want to make sure there's weight on him. But you don't want to be way up here. Okay? Because he can start shooting on me right here. You don't want to bounce me doing one of these because he can square up. He can, he can scramble with me. So you want to circle. You're going to circle left. You're going to bounce. As he... As you bounce him, you plant his hands, you're just going to come across the back of the neck, backhand, weight is going to be on him though. All right, this hand stays on the tricep, so I'm pressure down here and here. If you don't get that pressure, you're just going to pull that arm up and stop you. So I'm circling, bouncing, that's going to put weight on his hands. The blocking's going to, going to block his arm from coming up. I'm going to keep my weight on him right up in here, and I'm just going to come around. And you can come grab the far ankle, you can double them off, there's a couple different ways. You don't want to grab around the waist, because you're susceptible to getting rolled here. You can grab that wrist, move you can side roll, grab your roll, stuff like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Chin, pit, on our toes, All right? We're going to circle left, we get it moving, we get it moving right here. I'm going to kind of elevate, elevate, out, right there. Pull it down, pull all the way down. As I pull down, Ideally, I collapse this elbow right here. Hand comes off the chin, back hand. I got my weight on here. I got my weight on this shoulder. Right here, I come around. Ankle. You can run down this double right here. You can come behind, behind the pits. But just real quick circle, bounce, trying to collapse the elbow. Back hand, spin behind. Sit a couple of those guys. A little bit more circle. Get him moving. Get him moving. There. Nice. That's it. One more each guy. Pick up the pace. You can really try to bounce the bar. Bam. There you go. 